so in this presentation i will discuss about the role of macrophage in innate immunity as we discussed earlier that innate immunity is the inherent immunity whatever produced by our body so macrophage plays an important role in this uh, production of the innate immunity so macrophages uh, these are mainly located in the organs and tissue they are located in the organs or the tissue the monocyte uh, present in the blood stream they actually comes out from the blood stream and they settle down in the different organs and tissue regions and they forms they acts as macrophages and they are called as macrophages as because they are uh, larger in size and they are having the phagocytic activity that's why they are called as macrophages so different types of macrophages are uh, distributed in different parts of our body so these are listed here so number 1 is uh, kupfer cell as you know the kupfer cells are the cells which are found in the within the liver and they are uh, the uh, major type of macrophagic cell which are present within the liver so within the liver where you can find the in this slide these are the hepatocytes and these are the central canals uh, and near it there are the portal vessels and within this hepatic lobe there are um, several numbers of sinusoids and within these sinusoids these macrophages are present and these macrophages are called as kupfer cell so if you look through the diagram here you can find that this is the central vein and this is the portal vein and within this connecting region uh, there are different uh, huge numbers of kupfer cells they are extended from uh, from towards the Uh, to, from the portal region to the central vein region along with the different endothelial cells and they are responsible for phagocytic activity so these large number of uh, kupfer cells they are, they can produce the reactive oxygen species pro inflammatory cytokines and chemokines cytokines are the chemical substances they are an, uh, protein or polypeptide in nature and they are responsible for generation of the immune response and by stimulating different immune cells and chemokines are the small molecular protein which are also responsible for generation of the uh, which are also responsible for stimulating the immune system and these are produced by the activated kupfer cell actually when the pathogenic substances enter within the sinusoids this these kupfer cells are activated and they show their phagocytic activity as well as they also produce different types of cytokines and uh, chemokines and they produces different reactive oxygen species which helps in destruction of the pathogenic substances so by this process the kupfer cells which are present within the liver they helps to protect our body by stimulating the immune system so like that we are having the microglial cells which are found within the brain so the brains are having different types of micro, uh, large numbers of microglial cells they are collectively called as the scavenging cells as because they are responsible for destroying or removing out the dead debris or dead material within the nervous system and they can produce the neurotoxicity uh, uh, as because that these debris can produce the neurotoxicity and uh, to protect them uh, the kupfer cell uh, sorry the microglial cells act as a phagocytic cell and uh, they engulf the dead material or dead neurons within the nervous system and thereby they uh, prevents our body from different infections as well as they also can kill the pathogenic substances so whatever entering within the body so microglial cells they plays an important role in nervous system especially in the central nervous system uh, by acting as a uh, by playing a phagocytic role so that they can engulf the foreign substances as well as the toxic substances or cell debris is produced in the nervous system so another type of uh, phagocytic cell uh, that is the macrophages are found in the lung that is the alveolar macrophage so as you know the alveolar macrophage the alveoli is consist uh, alveoli is the main functional unit of the lung and it is consisting of the epithelial cell and within the epithelial cell there are several numbers of uh, uh, alveolar macrophages they are located uh, in the within the lung and they are responsible for uh, showing the phagocytic activity by engulfing the different pathogenic substances whatever trying to enter within the 
respiratory system or through the respiratory system they can intervene the blood vascular system so by preventing this uh, by damaging these uh, pathogenic substances or by engulfing these pathogenic substances these macrophages are uh, help uh, helping the respiratory system to protect it from the pathogenic substances like that we are having the monocyte within our blood stream also monocytes once it comes out from the blood stream and enters within the tissue space they forms the macrophages and these macrophages are having greater phagocytic activity so the macrophages formed from the monocytes they are also responsible for generation of the immunity within our body especially the innate immunity there are some phagocytic cells or macrophagic cell which are found in the kidney these are called as mesangial cells these mesangial cells this is the structure of the kidney uh, histological structure of the kidney these are the different tables uh, proximal and distal convoluted tables and this is the glomerulus and around this there is bowman capsule so this is the magnified image of the glomerulus and bowman capsule here this is the bowman capsule region and here this is the glomerulus and within this glo glomerulus as you know the glomerulus is nothing but the uh, blood vessels uh, or capillaries small capillaries which are found within the uh, kidney and these capillaries are responsible uh, within this cap near these capillaries there are the mesangial cells which are responsible for showing the phagocytic activity so they are the macrophagic cell which are present within the uh, uh, kidney which are responsible for showing the phagocytic activity so similarly within the spleen and lymph node there are another type of macrophagic cells that is known as sinus macrophage they are present in the sinuses of the spleen as well as the lymphocytes and they are responsible for uh, antigen presenting uh, to the cytotoxic T lymphocytes and they are responsible for uh, for activation of the natural killer cell so by this process these uh, these sinus macrophages which are present in the spleen as well as in the lymph node are also responsible for uh, destroying the pathogenic substances whatever entering within the spleen or lymph node so and the last one there are several types uh, huge numbers of uh, macrophages within the peritoneal cavities these are called as serosal macrophages and uh, they are in this region in the picture you can see this, this uh, here the peritoneal macrophages are there so they are located in the peritoneal cavity and they are responsible for protecting our peritoneal cavity from different invading organisms so by this process macrophage plays an important role in development of the innate immunity so actually if we sum up the role of the macrophages in innate immunity they can increase the phagocytic activity they can increase the killing activity by stimulating different uh, immune cell within our body uh, they can express the major histocompatible complex uh, type 2 and which actually helps to uh, stimulate the immune system as well as the development of the different uh, immune cells so let us see so these molecules uh, major histocompatibility uh, complex that is uh, there are of two types one and two these molecules are consistently expressed in the in professionally immune antigen presenting cells but may also be induced by other cells uh, when, as and when required and they interacts with the immune cells like t cells and they helps in the maturation of the t cell so when they are activated they can mature the uh, they can mature the helper t cell so that the immune response can be uh, increased so by this process they helps in the helps the immune system for and uh, protects our body from different invading organisms like this they are also responsible for uh, increased production of the cytokines as i told earlier the cytokines are nothing but they are the chemical substances uh, they, they are protein or polypeptide or peptide in nature and they are responsible for stimulating different immune cells so that the immune functions can be regulated properly and so these are the cells that is the lymphocytes macrophages granulocytes fibroblasts 
endothelial cells, mast cells, they are responsible for production of the cytokines and these cytokines are responsible also for stimulating different other immune cells so that the immunity can be maintained properly. Like that uh, macrophages are also responsible for stimulating the acute phase reactant and the comp complement synthesis. They increases the production of these proteins. These APR proteins increases when there is any inflammation. So they are they are they are the markers of the inflammatory uh, responses. That means when there is a huge amount of inflammation within our body, these the level of APR will be increased within our bloodstream. So this APR protein synthesis uh, uh, is increased by the macrophages, and macrophages also are responsible for destroying the pathogenic substances. Uh, with the help of oxidative and non-oxidative pathway and they can also induce or increase the inducible nitric oxide synthesis production. So inducible nitric oxide synthesis production it's a, uh, this is an enzyme actually it is responsible for synthesis of the reactive oxygen species and they are, um, uh, they are helping in the uh, immune system. So by this process macrophages uh, by this process macrophages can stimulate the innate immunity or it helps in innate immunity.